Okay, here's our next example of how to solve quadratic equations using the completion of the square method. And in this case, I didn't give you an example that can also be done using factoring. And this is how you can see how nice this technique works for something like that. Again, the technique is exactly the same as before. We go through a series of steps. The first step is to make sure that this is equal to a 1. If it's not, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of the x squared term. In this case, it's a 1, so we don't have to do that. The next step is to move the negative 3 over to the right side. So this becomes x squared plus 5x equals, instead of negative 3, it becomes a positive 3 on the right side. The next step is to take the middle term divided by 2, squaring it, and adding it to both sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this middle term, divided by 2, and square it, and add it to the left side and the right side of the equation. Now, 5 over 2 squared is the same as 25 over 4, so we're going to add a 25 over 4 to the left side and a 25 over 4 to the right side. So by having done that, we've ensured that this is a perfect square of some sort of binomial that looks perhaps like x plus 2 squared or x minus 3 squared or something like that. But in this case, since we use the completion of the square method, we've ensured that this will look like x plus 5 over 2 squared. Notice it's half the middle term squared, and if we take half the middle term and we add it to an x in a binomial like that and we square the whole thing, that will be the perfect square of this. So this can be written as x plus 5 over 2 quantity squared. To quickly see that that's correct, let's work this out. Let's actually square this out. And so this is equal to the first term squared, which is x squared, the last term squared, which is 25 over 4, and then twice the product of these two. So if I multiply this times this, I get 5 over 2x. Multiply that times 2, I get plus 5x. And this is indeed the same as what, what, I, end, what I started with over here. So that's actually the correct conversion from having a trinomial and writing as a binomial squared. But now we still have to add the two terms on the right side. And you can see that they don't have the same denominator, so I have to write that as two, two numbers over the same denominator. So this is the same as if I multiply the numerator and denominator by 4, I get 12 over 4 plus 25 over 4. Notice if I divide the 4 into 12, I get the 3 again. But now I have the same denominator. I can add those together. I have x plus 5 over 2 quantity squared is equal to 12 plus 25 or 27 over 4. And now I'm, I'm ready to take the square root of both sides. So I take the square root of the left side, square root of x plus 5 over 2 quantity squared is equal to the square root of 27 over 4. So this becomes x plus 5 over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of that, which is the square root of 27 over 2. Because I cannot take the square root of 27, but I can take the square root of 4, which is 2. I now can move the 5 over 2 to the other side. I have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 27 over 2 minus 5 over 2. And finally, I can write it over a simple common denominator. So x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 27 minus 5 over 2. And there are the two solutions or the two roots of my quadratic equation. In other words, x is equal to the square root of 27 minus 5 over 2 or x is equal to minus the square root of 27 minus 5 over 2. You can see you would have never gotten that using the trying to use the factor method because you could not factor it like that. But this is a very handy method to find the, the roots uh, using the completion of the square method. I better stop talking before I sound like a bloody idiot. <laughs>